Who's the master? 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 I think it's Frogs Master 595. Yes, that's right. It's Frogs Master 595. Hey everyone, this is Frogs Master, and we are doing a review on this item. One of my favorites, actually. No, it's not Jemmy. It's actually made by that company that made the Sassy Cats and those dogs with the big teeth and the big eyes. Most of you probably don't know what I'm talking about. They're like Valentine's Day ones. They hold roses. I think they walk a little bit. They might move their eyes, too. I know they move their mouth. It's that company, though. Uh, oh, it's also the company that made the rock and roll reindeer and snowman that sing the parody of Smoke on the Water, the Christmas parody. Anyways, it's that company, and it's got that same button that I think most of their other items have to. Yeah, I think this is the exact kind of button that the Sassy Cats have. So, real quick, I really, really, really did think that the Sassy Cats were Jemmy because of the way that their heads moved. It was, it was similar to a Jemmy item, and the plastic underneath the head just looked Jemmy. The eye movements just made me think it was Jemmy, and just... Overall, the movement just reminded me of Jemmy, and I guess the button did. I think Jemmy does have very few items that have buttons like this. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm wrong. I might be completely wrong. I might be saying false crap. Anyways, Sassy Cat's not Jemmy, and this isn't Jemmy. Uh, I think the company's name is, like, Square Island LLC, but on this... Guys, tag, it says Far Out Productions, which is what I have in the title. And I don't know what that is. That may have been on him, like Fuzz or something. He's not dusty, though. I don't know why he would have that. It should say Far Out Productions on here somewhere. Uh. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't, I didn't realize this. Um. It does say Square Island LLC on here. Oh, yep, okay. Yep, that's what some other people call it. Examian Star Arts and Crafts Co. No, most call it Square Island LLC. That's what you would call it. They've got that on the top part. So that must be the company name. They just have it under here as animated dog. That's not what it's supposed to say on its tag, though. Where did I see that it said Far Out Productions? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because it doesn't say it on here, I think. I I guess I looked at one on online. Because it doesn't say Far Out Productions on... Okay, well, I'm going to have to edit my videos a bit. I'm going to put Square Island... LLC instead. Obviously, that's the actual company name, not Far Out Productions. I gotta fix that. I'm a little bit... I'm pretty dumb for not noticing that. I should have picked that up, but I guess I didn't. Okay, well, the review. Well, it's pretty good quality. Now, there is something broken on it. Obviously, you can hear that very well. You see, I think most people don't think this is broken unless if they can hear that. Of course, the head moves side to side in a cool way, at least in my opinion. And then the tail moves a little bit in actually a pretty realistic way. But it is supposed to do something else. It's supposed to tilt up towards the front and then go down and then it'll tilt up in the back area so it's like it keeps changing diagonally i think you could probably get what i'm saying it rises up in the front 
and then it's lowering in the back, and then it lowers in the front and rises in the back. I know there's a better word for it. Not, I guess, sort of like kneeling, but then it like stretches. It's weird, but there is one other video of it. I think it's called Gangsta Puppies. If you look Gangsta Puppies up on YouTube, you'll find it. And you can see it doing the other movement in the video. Now, I don't think this is bad quality at all. Even these glasses. There. I mean, the plastic is... The plastic doesn't bend that easy. Now, I'm sure I could still break it because it's just... It's still just plastic, but it's much better than, like, other plastic stuff. And this bandana is good. And this shirt that it's got. It says Doxy on it. Very good. Uh, there were some, like, strings and stuff on it. But this is... It's getting old. This came out in 2008. So it is... It's kind of old. You know, it's... It's 12 years old now. The Lowrider one is older than this one. I'm pretty sure. Lowrider one, I think, was like 2006, 2007. It's got this little earring on it that's cool. And you can see it like this. Velcro down here. This is where the batteries are. It's like this Velcro on the shirt here, and then there's Velcro down here too. So you, you could take the shirt off. And, you know, you could probably move it back here if you wanted to. Well, no, I guess the tail would kind of get in the way. I'm sure you could still do it, though. I'm keeping it like this, of course. Now, I used to have this because I, I know it wasn't the lowrider one because I definitely remember the recording sounding just like this. So I know it was this one. Plus, I knew it was in 2008. So, you know, there's really... No problems I have with this besides the fact that it doesn't do the movement, which honestly I did not think was going to be broken. But, you know, I think it's just broken because of age. 12 years old, you know. Once stuff starts to get around 8 years old and then a decade old, stuff starts to break because of age, you know. We all know that. We've all experienced it. I doubt this has been dropped or anything. And it's not like this thing is dirty at all. There's not one thing of dirt on this guy even his glasses are pretty much I mean there's just little things there that you maybe can see with all that light but it's really not that much also he's got teeth down here that you can see you never really see an angle of him like that but if you could just see the teeth and the eyes better that would be Good. Oh, yeah, you can see it kind of right there. Yeah, I really like the design of this. A lot. A lot, a lot. Yeah, the bandana is a little weird looking. It's like there's nothing up here. But it's supposed to be like that, trust me. It looks just like this in that video. The tail has like a spring in it. That makes it move. And the head is just a normal plastic piece, I think. Yeah. And actually, when you move the head, it actually moves the tail, too. So it's like a conjoined mechanism, I think you'd call that. I think that's the best way to describe it. I don't know. Maybe that was the worst way to describe it. Oh, there's a string. I don't like it when I see those. Now it's sticking everywhere. Whatever. There's the nose, just a regular nose. It's, it's ply, well, it's like a leather material, I think. It's not plastic. And the eyes, you can tell the eyes are just uh, fabric. Button's pretty soft, it's papery. Button's not bad at all. I like that it's on the ear and not here, cause that would be a little weird just because of this being a little small and all the way pushed in with its small legs. This is supposed to be a, a dash hunt. So 
kind of makes sense. The dash huns look like this, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, I've never seen a dash hunt in person. I've not really looked at images, so I don't know for sure. Uh, this will probably be the longest review I do on an item, just because it's this one and this one's very interesting. You know, up here at the top, it does look a little weird, mainly with just this part. Nothing with the head, it's just this, I feel like, should be moved a little bit. Uh, I don't know, maybe not. No, I guess it doesn't look weird. It's just, this thing in certain angles looks so much different from another angle. Most of you don't have this, so you don't really know what I mean. And it's actually, uh, depending on where you hold it, it is heavier than what you'd probably think. And this is kind of big, as you can see. This is longer than sit up santa i'm pretty sure yeah it is it's it's longer than sit up santa well you know this was a childhood thing i'm very glad that i have it again i will not let it go and i will not get a different one i don't care that it doesn't move like that even if that noise that it is making with the broken mechanical parts you know i mean it's a little annoying, but it's okay, because I really like the song on this, too. It sings right there by someone's name that I don't remember right now. And I don't think that song is ever talked about ever anymore. But here it is. This does have a demo, by the way, but I don't really think I need to show that. It's just the song shorter, and I've got videos where I do the demo anyways. That would just take a while to do, and then I have to edit this. This is already a long video. I don't need reviews longer than this. So I hope you enjoyed it. Very good item in my opinion. I hope you agree. And by the way, it is insanely rare. Trust me. I know that for certain with this one. And, okay, peace.